The secrets behind a wooden gas stove and the theory behind a wooden gas stove is that you have your fuel, your wood, you burn it, that creates a lot of heat, you starve the wood from air and you collect the gas it creates by the heat. And you will create a vacuum here, sucking the gas out, move it on top, move it in and burn it on top of the can, making your wood last a whole lot longer and creates a nice blue flame and a fire with no smoke at all and you need these two cans there are devil designs on the internet and I want to try out a few to check what's the best I like to use this as my bottom and create a few big holes if you don't have the necessary tools to create big holes then create a lot of small holes You draw your line all around the can. You draw the second line just a few millimeters below the first line. The second line you cut this and then you make small slits. This creates a nice and you try to push in the second can, it creates a nice tight fit to keep the gas in there and not release it. And that's actually it for the bigger can. And then you will be creating something like this. This fits inside. Nice. A lot of holes. Make a few more. And one design is you know, all the designs are small holes on top, all around. So, what you want to do is have some space and about two centimeters, make a slit. And do this the whole way around. And then you will create something like this. There's holes on top, and there's one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Five slits in the bottom, and I cut them with a saw. And then use the screwdriver to get in between, and then move the screwdriver upwards. Pushing the lower part out, making a nice shape. And this shape creates a vacuum behind it, sucking the gas out, bring it up, in, and back. With new improvements, the extra slits on the side, it's working great. This is definitely a winner. Ah, oh, the wind blows. If you have a top cover, it isn't so a problem. Some extra wind and check it The gas is just pouring out. Can you see? Nothing in the middle. Everything is just out of the side. It's going strong for 10 minutes. There's hardly any issues. It's really one of the best. The fuel is really getting at the end. Just for the fun, let's check. Three hundred and eighty-eight degrees Celsius. And a 
flame itself is not so hot, but the coals will get red hot. It's going to turn up almost 500, 490, 522 degrees. Mm.